Hey, this is AJ Hamilton with Red Carpet Report, and we're here at UCLA for the 43rd annual Annie Awards. We're competing tonight. Yes. Uh, best live action character in a uh, best animated character in a live action film. And uh, we did uh, Indominus Rex in Jurassic World. Okay. And they did the bear in Revenant. Oh so, my God. Yeah. So tough competition. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, Thank yeah. you. Uh, one, one second. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, um, would you guys like to, to be interviewed? Sure. At all? Do you have... Come on forward. Yeah. Do you, do you want to talk for them, or? I'm the animation supervisor, so oh, I can, fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Please step over into the light. My head's big. Into the light. And, uh, yep. Good. Um, uh, and your name is, sir? Uh, Glenn McIntosh. I was the animation supervisor on Jurassic World. Fantastic. And, uh... And you guys uh, worked on, I mean, you, you did everything, but uh, yes. in, Indominus Rex is, uh, is nominated tonight, Indominus yes? Indominus is the one nominated tonight yes. for Best Animated Character in a Live Action Film. And we got some stiff competition from Weta with, you know, the dragon and Azog, and then, of course, uh, ILM's uh, other big uh, film, like The Bear from The Revenant, so, yes. yeah. which looked incredible. So, how do, how, What do you do to, um, to create the naturalistic movement because I don't think that Indominus Rex exists or am I did you actually do a lot of it was the, cloning? always uh, cloning but Rod here was actually motion capture for Indominus and he oh, wow. has he has a background in dance and acting he comes from Weta he was an or, he was an orc he was a uh, uh, an elf he was uh, he's played every character in Lord of the Rings but he has a background in dance and acting and choreography so he was our perfect dinosaur and we spent lots of time studying uh, animals of the natural world and a lot of uh, National Geographic footage and looking at uh, birds and uh, bigger reptiles like saltwater crocodiles. Yes. And then uh, we would get on the motion capture stage and experiment. And uh, Colin was really keen on it. So, <laughs> hey, Jacob. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great opportunity. That's, that's so fascinating to, to see. Um, did, you, did, you guys, um, did you guys have trouble finding the, the spirit of it? Or how long did that take? Exactly? It was like a two and a half year process. What was yeah. really interesting was that we knew, uh, like Colin really visually wanted uh, the Indominus to be distinct from the T-Rex, not just uh, from a design point of view, but characteristic, characteristic wise. And so the design influenced the movement. So that's why she had longer arms and sort of hinted at like the DNA that she's part raptor. Um, and But she could like get down on all fours uh, and she could, uh, the way she moved sort of informed uh, was informed by her design and so it was sort of a back and forth process over throughout production and uh, Colin and Steven Spielberg and Tim Alexander our visual effects supervisor the whole time were constantly looking at the design and we'd get motion studies in front of them whether it was either Rod on the motion capture stage or uh, animation studies that Kyle Winkleman our lead animator would do based on various uh, animals such as Komodo dragons or ostriches for the runs because she had to run at like 35 miles an hour. Yeah. Oh my God! Well, that is fascinating. Uh, best best of luck to you guys. Um, congratulations on the nomination. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more interviews. And in the comments section, tell us what your favorite animation was of this year.